A winter chill whooshed down Heidelberg Street. Young Tyree buttoned his coat and pop! His last button flipped into the gutter. He dove after it and dug through the leaves. Underneath, he pried a popsicle stick from the ice. He got a bicycle wheel off the curb. He scooped up an old baseball cap buried in the snow. With his pockets full, he darted home to his east side house that already bulged with ten brothers and sisters. He sang as he unloaded his day's finds. His mama didn't earn enough sewing and cleaning to buy new shoes, much less bikes or balls. So he zapped fun into the amazing junk that other people had tossed away. Let rockets fly, boards tower high, bounce, jump, and dance, magic trash. Tyree usually didn't pay attention to what his brothers were doing as he dreamed up designs. In school, he sat alone, drawing pictures. When his report card arrived, his aunt wondered, he must not be very good at school. Maybe he's a little crazy, his mama thought. One day, when Tyree was nine, his grandpa Sam, who was a house painter, plopped a brush into his hands. Paint the world, grandpa said. He dipped his paintbrush into cans of color, sloshing purple, slapping yellow, aiming his brush like a magic wand. They were quite happy with their glistening ladder after they painted it. Other kids on the street giggled and razzed. Look at his green face. Ha! Green junk. Still, Tyree zoomed home, and he had his grandpa's words twirling in his head. I'm going to be an artist, Tyree said. His mama hung her head. That's not a job. He peered into grandpa's twinkling eyes. He clenched his brush. He would be an artist, yes. Brush greens and blues on wheels and shoes. Slosh, slap, and splash, magic trash. At age 12, Tyree squinted into smoke as National Guard tanks rolled down the streets nearby. All his life, neighbors had raced out of his neighborhood to go live in new suburbs. Now some who had stayed exploded in rage. Rioters were burning buildings in his neighborhood. And when he grew older, he left also to seek a new life. He marched as a soldier. He inspected cars in a factory. He doused fires as a firefighter. But he never forgot about painting his world, so he enrolled in art school to learn more about colors, lines, and shapes. And then he headed back to Heidelberg. But when he returned, things had changed for the worse. Many houses sat empty, creeping with spirits of owners who had run away from the neighborhood. He tripped over trash, lots of trash, and troublemakers lurked. They snuck into the hollow houses, and they even set fire to them. No, cried Tyree, not on this street. His mama still lived in the same home. Tyree grabbed his brush and burrowed through the trash. He cast spells on suitcases, toilets, and a slide trombone. Before the colors dried, Grandpa Sam hurried out to help, and they painted a busted bus. They even painted pictures they called Faces of God in blue, black, and orange, and their street sparkled. When trouble still sizzled in one empty house, Tyree coated it in dots and squares of pink, blue, yellow, and purple. Dopey dealing thieves hustled from its view, chased away by the bright paint and barking trash. Tyree named one home Dotty Waddy and another one Fun House. Some people squawked about the garbage. A few neighbors complained. Soon, bulldozers roared up to the project to scoop away everything he made. You can't do that, yelled neighbors. Get out of here, other ones screamed. Tyree's trash is beautiful. 
Tyree scrambled to snatch a few of his pieces. This is my art, he cried. But the dots and stripes and baby dolls lay bashed and smashed. Art had filled Tyree and Grandpa Sam's lives. Now 93, Grandpa Sam had grown too old to help. Never stop painting, Grandpa said, squeezing Tyree's hand. And then Tyree stood alone with his brushes, paint, and trash. He wasn't alone for long, though. We can help, neighbors called. Your colors and dots chased away those thieves. Together they shoveled, swept, and hauled in new trash. Then, after eight years of painting and rebuilding, neighbors heard bulldozers come a second time. No, Tyree yelled. Tyree and his neighbors were hopping mad. The street is ours, they said. We'll never quit. And they marched downtown to tell their story to the judge. The city said Heidelberg Street was a dump. No, decided the court. This is art. So Tyree's artwork survived. The next day, Tyree and his neighbors began anew, aiming their brushes like magic wands. Children sang as they hammered and spattered designs. Even former troublemakers returned, ready to rake, sweep, and build. United by trash, they cast a spell on their street, brightening their home for good. Word of Heidelberg Street spread around the world, and people from all over came and stared. Wow, look at that. Tyree waved his brush. Welcome. Bounce, jump, and dash. Magic trash. <laughs>